Sustainability is a societal goal with three dimensions, the social, economic and environmental dimensions. This concept can be used to guide all the procurement-related decisions and processes and gain benefits for long-term on sustainable basis. In this S&P Knowledge Series, let's discuss about 14 Principles of Procurement Sustainability Copyright, authored by S.N. Panigrahi, Authorized Training Partner, ATP, Instructor of PMI, USA. Sustainability A Long-Term Vision Sustainability is the ability of something to last for long. Sustainability is important because, we live on a planet of finite resources, though these resources are naturally available in very very large volumes, of course has some limitations. Often we treat in taking for granted that these resources are infinite and abundantly available forever. These misconceived notions and perceptions proved us wrong very lately to realize and recognize that, there is limitations to everything. Earth's resources are not unlimited and that humans must use and conserve resources, in a manner that allows, their continued use in the future. Therefore, we need to conserve the natural resources, for not only meeting the requirements of present generations, but also need to preserve for future generations. Sustainability, means meeting our own needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. In addition to natural resources, we also need social well-being and comfort of living, wealth and economic growth. So sustainability adds up two more dimensions, social and economic factors. Three pillars of sustainability. Embedding all three aspects sustainability, refers to concerns for community comfort of living and equity, human factor, social, and wealth generation, progress and development, economic factor, and conserving and preserving of natural resources, environment factor. These are also known as triple bottom line, called 3P, S, people, profit or prosperity and planet. These forms three pillars of sustainability. Adopting sustainable practices, whether large or small, can have significant impacts in the long run. Sustainability is a societal goal with three dimensions. The social, economical and environmental. This concept can be used to guide decisions at the global, national and at the individual consumer level. Therefore, sustainability is made up of three pillars. Society, economy, and the environment. These principles are also termed as people, profit, and planet. The three dimensions of sustainability. Sustainability is a holistic approach that considers social, economic and environmental dimensions, recognizing that all must be considered together to find a balanced coexisting of all humans, flora, plant life, fauna, refers to animals, and others, living for today and tomorrow. Let's now discuss some more details about each dimension. Social sustainability pillar. It is mostly concerned about quality of life, standards of living, education, jobs, community development, access to enough resources in order to keep their families and communities healthy and secure, equal opportunity, welfare, social cohesion, development of human capital, law and ethics etc. Economic sustainability pillar. Economic sustainability is all about economic growth and prosperity, job creation, income generation, profits, efficiency and competitiveness, production and consumption, innovative or alternative usages of resources, cost savings, cost of employment, cost of living etc. Environmental sustainability pillar. Environmental sustainability is referred to consumption and conservation of Earth's natural resources, resource management, environmental protection, habitat restoration and preservation, and measures to reduce factors that are extremely detrimental to the environment, materials and wastes, natural and cultural landscape, biodiversity. Further understanding the three dimensions with intersections among them we may analyze overlapping dimensions. Socioeconomic dimension. This is intersection between economic and environmental dimensions. This is about economic impact on society, that is impact of social investments on education, health, safety, security, level of empowerment, community development and other economic activities which create employment, income generation, job creation, skill enhancements, value to society through innovation, fair trade, tax payment, business ethics, spending on employment, workers' welfare or benefits, labor rights etc. Also it includes, government spending, cost of welfare schemes, social infrastructure, ensuring minimum level of income deemed necessary to achieve an adequate standard of living, subsidies, social or public spending as percent of GDP etc. Econo environmental dimensions. This is intersection between economic and environmental dimensions. 
This is about economic benefits of resource consumption, resource efficiency, alternative use of resources, renewable resources, energy efficiency, use of renewable fuels, green technology, carbon credits, tax breaks, subsidies for environmental compliances, enhancing the energy return on investment, life cycle management, product stewardship. This isn't just for the benefit of the planet, but can also benefit corporations by reducing wasted effort, time and money. Socio-environmental dimension. This is intersection between social and environmental dimensions. This includes social acceptability, social well-being, energy security, resource conservation, food security, potable water, environmental regulations, global climate change, environmental activism, environmental laws, public involvement, reporting and publishing, environmental justice. Now sustainability dimension which is intersection of all the three dimensions. Sustainability is impacted by three interconnected dimensions, social, economic and environmental sustainability. Each dimension affects all the others and is affected by each in return. If we continue to exploit the resources indiscriminately for current economic benefits and live without consideration for our surroundings or fellow humans, we could make the planet uninhabitable, physically, socially, and economically, for future generations. Sustainability is the balancing act between society, economy and environment. We cannot achieve economic sustainability without having a sustained healthy environment and society. Increasing convergence between these factors brings harmony in our well-being and quality of life. Natural resources are conserved, preserved, maintained and environment is protected, while thriving for economic development and opportunities. When this happens it means the environment is maintained healthy, our economic wealth is secure and our social life is happy and fulfilling. Sustainable procurement. Sustainable procurement is the integration of sustainable principles, into the company's procurement policy, and processes, to achieve not only value for money, on a whole life cycle basis, by ensuring that they meet the economic objectives, of the organization and the requirements of the stakeholders, but also balancing the sustainability to reduce the socio-environmental adverse impacts, due to their procurement and other related activities and contribute for the overall prosperity of the humankind and holistic growth. Procurement Policy Focus on Sustainability Corporate sustainability is a growing concern among businesses who seek not only economic profit but also social good environmental sustainability. Most of the organizations have their own procurement policy. In that policy, generally they also chart out about sustainable procurement objectives and practices. These are based on the principle of shared value, a concept that promotes policies and operating practices that enhance the competitiveness of a company while also improving economic and social conditions in the communities in which they operate with environmental concerns. Sustainable procurement is the act of adopting social, economic and environmental factors alongside the typical price, delivery and quality considerations into the organization's procurement processes, procedures and practices. Procurement sustainable policy should integrate with company's overall vision and mission, strategies and broad long-term goals, and other company policies and procedures aligned to sustainability. Procurement sustainability. Let's now discuss about each dimension of procurement sustainability. Social dimension of procurement sustainability. It covers, respect for people, concern about society, business integrity and ethics, legal and regulatory compliance, human rights, encourage local development, provide employment with minimum wage regulations, employ health and safety, identifying suppliers who are low impact, fair trade or environmentally friendly, preference for local sourcing, developing local vendors or suppliers, Ethical sourcing, fair dealing with economical vendors, non-discrimination policies, diversity in workforce, responsible conduct with stakeholder etc. Economical dimension of procurement sustainability. It involves, job creation, income generation, profits, efficiency and competitiveness, production and consumption, innovative or alternative usages of resources, cost savings, cost of employment, cost of living. Business integrity and ethics. Good governance. Avoid conflict of interest, bribery, corruption, gifts and donations. Maintain confidentiality. Anti-competitive and restrictive trade practices. Accountability and transparency etc.
Now we shall discuss environmental dimension of procurement sustainability. It involves adopting green initiatives and practices, reducing emissions and water intake, reducing usage of hazardous and toxic materials and substances, disposal of toxic waste, use of renewable energy, responsible consumption of resources, reducing waste by reusing packing material, reduce, reuse, recycle and recover etc. Going further now we shall discuss 14 principles of procurement sustainability copyright developed by the author for guiding to development of procurement sustainability policy for making sure that the products and services we buy are as sustainable as possible. First, procurement policy shall be aligned with corporate sustainability policy and ensure commitment by top management. Set organizational vision and mission with sustainability goals and align procurement policy with overall organizational mission with holistic approach to sustainability. Ensure the policy reflects the organization's values and includes commitment to continual improvement. Management's commitment to sustainability is very important because they provide the right direction, drive change, propel the momentum, provide resources for implementation, maintenance and improvement of the sustainability practices. Product Responsibility, Green and Circular Procurement. It is commitment of the organization for development and production of goods or services to the highest possible standards in order to minimize the impact on society, economy and the environment. It also involves green and circular procurement. Green procurement means purchasing products and services that cause minimal adverse environmental impacts. Circular procurement is a term relating to purchases that support the principles of the circular economy, a system that seeks to limit the waste of resources and reduce environmental impact within the context of sustainability. It is aligned to 4R cycle, reduce, reuse, recycle and recover. Next, principle is about continuity and consistency, efficiency and effectiveness. Continuity in procurement refers to the capability of ensuring uninterrupted flow of products and services from suppliers to customers within an acceptable level and time frame so as to safeguard the prioritized activities of the organization and interested parties. Consistency refers to uniformity of procurement policy, its implementation and practices across all the units. Efficient procurement is defined as capability of procuring required goods or services without wasting or sacrificing material characteristics, quality, time, or energy. Effectiveness on the other hand is doing the right thing. Efficiency is how the procurement process is handled, while effectiveness focuses on attaining the end result. In procurement, efficiency is often put to the side while the focus is on effective results for the organization as whole for attaining sustainable goals. Assure quality at the source, first time right and adoption of lean. Assure quality at the source, is a principle in the continuous improvement dimension of the Shingo model. Perfect quality can only be achieved when every element of work is done right the first time. If an error should occur, it must be detected and corrected at the point and time of its creation. Therefore, establishing environmental and social performance standards apart from economic factors for the suppliers are essential to ensure preventing mistakes and defects in supply which in turn minimizes wastage, reducing pollution and its associated use of resources and resource preservation and environmental impact. Lean procurement refer to the use of systematic methods to improve the procurement process and workflows, reducing time and reduce costs by eliminating wastes and non-value added activities while delivering quality products at lowest cost with greater efficiency. With these concepts in mind, lean procurement is a inherently linked to sustainability. Next important principle is economic sustainability, value for money, competitive supply, life cycle costing. Economic sustainability that is value for money with the lowest environmental impact and most positive social results is an essential sustainability principle. The procurement processes should be carried out to achieve the most advantageous combination of cost, delivery, quality and sustainability over the life cycle of the procurement. Value from the customer's perspective, predictability that is the ability to plan and deliver, productivity meaning getting more done in the same time or with the same resources and growth of the organization are the key considerations. Competitiveness is the capability of procuring that influence timing, cost, quality and delivery of a product to derive competitive advantage for the organization. While making procurement decisions, life cycle cost LCC, approach may be adopted that assesses the total cost of an asset over its life cycle including initial capital costs, maintenance costs, operating costs and the asset's residual value at the end of its life. 
The other important sustainability principle is local supplier development, CSR and social accountability. Local supplier development, LSD, as part of sustainable procurement is about engaging and assisting local suppliers in enhancing their skills and capabilities to meet supply requirements and consistently supply quality products at competitive prices. Local procurement can contribute to the implementation of the sustainability concept in the business in many ways, developing the local entrepreneurs, creating job opportunities for locals, economic wealth creation, minimize pollution due less transportation etc. Corporate social responsibility, CSR, is about corporate behavior, governance and transparency in key social, environmental and business areas. Integrating CSR into procurement policy enhances the sustainability efforts. Assessing and building capacity, benchmarking and risk appraisal. Assessing and building sustainability capacity refers to structures and processes that allow the procurement processes to leverage resources to effectively implement and maintain evidence-based policies and activities. Capacity development comprising three interconnected levels of capacity, individual, institutional and enabling policy. It is a measurable improvement in an organization's ability to fulfill its sustainability mission through a blend of sound management, strong governance, and dedication to assessing and achieving sustainable results. Benchmarking is a common practice that helps to establish baselines, define industry best practices, identify risks and opportunities, and create a competitive environment within a company or organization. Sustainability benchmarks are a way of systematically evaluating the sustainability performance against standards and best practices of other entities. Sustainability benchmarking provides many benefits, including a way to gather comparable information relative to other benchmarked entities, evaluate the sustainability performance of voluntary or mandatory standards, forecast potential business risks and opportunities and demonstrate the positive impacts of the organizational sustainability programs. Sustainability risk appraisal identifies potential hazards and sustainability challenges that could expose to practices that negatively impact the environment and the people or the society involved in the procurement processes. Climate change, water scarcity, disease, and poor labor conditions are some key factors that increase sustainability risk and may decrease procurement efficiency and success. Fair dealings integrity and ethical procurement. Ethical procurement policy sets ethical practices like fair dealings integrity and social principles first, in order to ensure fair purchase dealings in socially and environmentally responsible way, ensuring income generation and development for local communities and avoid unethical practices such as engaging child labors, discrimination or favoritism or exploitation. Value for values, inclusiveness without any discrimination. Procurement ethics are based on certain organizational values. Values are a set of beliefs or opinions that influence, characterize and reflect the ethical behavior, the vision and outlook of how organizations lead the business. Value for values refers to value propositions an organization commits to take responsibility and initiates transformative and ethical leadership that reflects sustainability. Having access to a wealth of natural resources, as well as ensuring general well-being for all, is a moral right of everyone. The term sustainability more broadly refers to moral obligations and include anything that helps protect an organization's ability to operate responsibly towards the world socially, environmentally, and financially. The aim is to establish policies and practices that enhance the role of human capital development in sustainability and social inclusion, emphasizing its civic, social, and equity dimensions without any discrimination, create a better work culture and work-life balance while keeping in mind economic and environmental factors. Good governance compliance with regulations. Good governance promotes accountability, transparency, efficiency and rule of law at all levels and allows efficient management of human, natural, economic and financial resources for equitable and sustainable development. Sustainable compliance program improves the risk profile through a more effective and efficient compliance function focused on the most important procurement regulatory risks and eliminates inefficient activities. Visibility, transparency, accountability and responsiveness. Transparency and accountability are generally part of good governance, characterized by a feeling of trust at all levels includes visibility i.e. the ability to track and provide information about its activities related to sustainability and governance to concerned stakeholders that is accurate, complete and made available in a timely way. Responsiveness is the ability of an organization to promptly adjust to changes and respond in its internal and external factors like economical, social and environmental impacts. 
Responsive sustainability refers to timely and controllable interventions that improve sustainable outcomes. Now let's discuss one of the very critical sustainability principle that is stronger partnerships, collaborative procurement. Stronger partnerships will contribute to environmental protection and sustainable development by mobilizing resources, sharing knowledge, promoting the creation and transfer of environmentally sound technologies, and building capacity. A strong partnership can add value to the business, with the true measure being the creation of sustainable value for customers and the society at large. Voluntary commitments, and multi-stakeholder partnerships, facilitating varied engagements of all the stakeholders in support of the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals, shall strengthen the cause in right direction. Collaborative procurement, is the practice of multiple organizations coming together by pooling resources, for establishing common facilities or consolidating procurements at jointly availing services from various procurement partners and other stakeholders. Collaborative procurement delivers greater efficiencies through economies of scale, combined purchasing or collective efforts to minimize environmental and social impacts. Collaboration enhances sustainable benefits by creating legitimacy of sustainable technologies, reducing waste and improving economical, environmental and social performance of firms. Create value for the customer and business partners. Embrace sustainability as a driver of value creation. Take a holistic perspective, but act on what matters to the business. Engaging customers and business partners in the sustainability efforts, naturally creates mutually beneficial business value to all the business partners for long term. Keeping promises and delivering consistent results is a key to proving the reliability of the company, product or service, and this is a major intangible business value. Business partner integration into the value chain with clear plan for each partner's responsibility and accountability can be a key to success and essential to empowering each company to leverage their core strengths. A sustainable partnership mindset is a vehicle for operational and organizational growth ultimately driving long-term creation of sustainable value. Principle of Sustainability Innovations and Continuous Improvements Businesses are facing growing competition due to globalization and new technologies, however by harnessing technological innovations for sustainable development can create win-win situations for the organizations, leverage business advantages, may drive higher profitability, efficiency, and competitiveness, product differentiation, a growing customer base, and improved market and brand positioning etc. Also it may contribute towards societal and environmental changes like wealth creation with optimal use of resources, social well-being and reducing business carbon footprint. Sustainability measurement and controls are also very important considerations for continuous improvements. Measurements are fundamental to sustainability which include setting standards and benchmarking performances, tracking and assessing progress, improvement in the operations, evaluating process, evaluating sustainability trade-offs, meeting or anticipating new requirements, finding and addressing barriers, rewarding excellence, and communicating benefits and goals among others. Though difficult to quantify, sustainability can be measured through certain indicators, benchmarks, audits, sustainability standards and certification systems like fair trade and organic, indexes and accounting, as well as assessment, appraisal and other reporting systems. Inclusive sustainability principle. Inclusive sustainability warrants economical growth alongside environmental sustainability and social justice. As per OECD, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, inclusive growth is economic growth that is distributed fairly across society and creates opportunities for all. It explicitly targets decent employment generation and help in reducing poverty, develop local community, raise standards of livings of larger populace, environmentally sustainable productivity growth, provide the technological solutions to environmentally sound goods or services and which is consistent with trade, financial, industrial, rural development, and social policies. It also means having access to essential services in health and education by the poor. It includes providing a quality of opportunity, empowering people through education and skill development. It encompasses a growth process that is environment-friendly growth, aims for good governance and helps in creation of a gender-sensitive society. Organizations may responsibly be engaged to commit and contribute in all its best for sustainability. 
These 14 principles of procurement sustainability are set of value-based principles that establishes a framework for expected procurement behavior, decision-making and practice, guiding organization throughout its life in all circumstances, its consistency, and discipline, respect for the society, concern for the environment and all-out wealth and economic growth. Do you find the presentation informative, and useful? If yes, then click, like, and also subscribe the channel for free to receive updates. Thank you. For more details contact SN Panigrahi. Add the below contact details.